Hello and welcome boils and ghouls and all the creeps in between Midnight Crypt Works here. Hope everybody's having a great day. So today we're going to see what the tarot has to say about the whole month of November 2022. Instead of doing each element sign, I just, I'm going to be honest, I don't have time to film all that. We're going to do a collective reading today. So if you are watching this, this will apply to you. You know, if it resonates with you. If it doesn't, that's fine. But... We're not doing element signs, so if it applies, then awesome. If not, you know, leave it, like, you know, like usual. Again, this is for entertainment purposes only, but of course I'm still right. All right, let's get started. Welcome to the crypt. All right, here we go. So we're gonna get started. Um, like I said, this is a collective reading. I don't know how many times I can say that, but this implies to anybody who resonates with it in the month up for the month of November, 2022. So that's what we're gonna do. And since um, I'm kind of changing up a little bit, I'm gonna do something a little extra. So I'm gonna let you pick two questions at the end you know you're gonna think about them on your own um, and it's gonna be yes or no questions so what I'm gonna do is for question one I'm gonna draw a card and I'm gonna tell you if I think it's a yes or a no and then the second question kind of like um um Montero is that is that his name I'll put his um, his uh, name up here he's a great tarot reader um, but just a little something extra so um, Tarot doesn't usually give me yes or no answers, but I can kind of figure it out by if the card's negative or or if it's you know positive. So we'll we'll figure it out. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm dropping the cards. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I totally forgot to light my candles. Give me a second. I'm so professional, huh? And I am not redoing this whole thing again. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. You see the wind from the shuffling? This is why I don't really do our shuffle over here too often. But it's all good. Okay, spirits. Oh, that was a good shuffle. Any messages for whoever is watching this video? Um, any messages, signs, or anything for the month of November 2022? This year is almost over, guys. It's crazy. Okay, that was a good shuffle. We're gonna leave that one right here. Okay. Let's see. Five of Swords. Hmm. By the way, this is like one of those crackling um, wood candles. Um, I actually won this in a giveaway and I love it. It smells so good. It smells like a vanilla slash cedar slash kind of sage scent. It smells really, really yummy. Okay, swords. Okay, swords. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I guess swords is the theme of the month or something here. Um. We have five of swords right here, ace of swords, and then four of swords right here. So I think this month, uh oh, sorry guys. I think this month is going to be a very busy month. Um, it might start out um, kind of feeling 
like you gotta fight all the damn time or like you have to not fight but what am I trying to say you have to constantly constantly be solving problems in your life like you're constantly having to be in battle for the things that you believe in and logically know and you know um yeah that's what I get from my card very interesting even if it's on the internet you feel like you have to prove certain things about yourself or other topics um I kind of get this card when I when I think of like gatekeeping certain things like I don't know if y'all watch witch talk um I kind of stay away from the videos and channels that um are very gatekeepy with any kind of really any kind of witchcraft there's out there that's out there um but there are a lot of gatekeeping going on TikTok, and when I get this card, this is what I'm thinking: like gatekeeping, like um, trying to keep something in your life sacred that maybe you feel has gone mundane. I hope that makes sense. But Ace of Swords, this is about um, new potential for communication. Maybe you've been working on your communication lately to other people, you know, and possibly to yourself, you know, what we think about ourselves affects us. And I wish I would have learned that sooner, but sometimes you can't help it. Okay. What you think you can't help, but I definitely feel like right here, you're trying to better yourself. And I think there's going to be a opportunity, um, happening soon. Just trying to see if this is a uh, recording. Um, that's going to give you a better opportunity to do this. Um, this could be, I, I, I got the first thing that popped in my head was like a spa retreat or something like something to treat yourself, but not just outside, but inside spiritually too, you know, kind of like a cleansing, but it's like a new opportunity. So, um, if you're thinking about, um, getting a Reiki, Reiki, I can't, no. <laughs> Reiki session with this local witch that you've been thinking about or something and you know maybe you should go do it this is a new opportunity to you know do something for yourself inside um and this four of swords right here I usually get for like self-care and rest and stuff um make sure that's in frame yeah so I definitely think this month might be kind of maybe a self-care um, month for you, which is good because I think it's a long time coming. I think you really need this. I definitely think you need a rest because I think you've been working really hard um, in, in life general and you really need that time to decompress, you know, and um, just relax and... Netflix and chill before it became sexual. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I remember when that when that phrase first was like coined or whatever. I for me it was never sexual and then they like made it sexual. I don't know. I'm asexual so I don't really understand that stuff. But um anyway, let me pull some more cards. Very interesting. But look at this card. I hope you can see it um, from the glare or whatever but five of swords is about like always having to you know um, you're always in some kind of battle you know for righteousness and truth and you know uh, to make things better and hmm. okay so this could be pertaining to an air sign um, Gemini Libra Aquarius could be doesn't have to be more information please spirit more swords y'all more swords but yeah this is like a journey you're going through this month like you're you're feeling you know like you have to fight all the time like you're you're like trying to preserve something that's special to you okay and you have to kind of argue or fight with people in order to make that happen um so there's a new opportunity coming um self-care stuff like that rest and now you're able with the six of swords to kind of move on to better 
opportunities for yourself. And I think along the way of this journey, look, you have five. One technically is an ace and then four and then boom you got six it's like you ha you're accumulating all these swords right excuse me um so as you can see all those swords are in the boat with her and she's standing tall and she's got these things these lessons that she's learned you know throughout this month and she's you know she's taken the good with the bad right the good things awesome you know that she's taken doesn't have to be a she by the way i'm just because it's a girl in the cards that's what i'm talking it, it it's, it's a they um you know she's taking the good with the bad you know what i mean she's um she's happy to accept the good things in life but she's also content with taking the lumps because guess what the lumps is experience and the lumps is another sword that she can wield to do what she wants to do with it okay seven of cups reversed ace of wands hmm so the seven of cups it excuse me Ugh. light i hate that i don't know light Whenever I have it on autofocus, this is what happens. Um, but we have Seven of Cups reverse right here. This is about like kind of taking vanity, vanities. What is vanities? I am making up words over here. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> fantasies. This is this card is about fantasies that are becoming hindering like it's all good to like you know live in your head sometimes and think you know of a world that you want a life that you want that's how we manifest things right we visualize things and then we put it into motion but this is like kind of hindering you now like i think you're kind of, this could be delusion <laughs> like or to the point of getting there so i definitely think you should be kind of careful with um with um what am i trying to say distinguishing fantasy from reality in a way okay and i think being all these swords is logical thinking so i think you were always that way but for some reason this one fantasy you can't let go of and that you can't just throw away i don't know it's really interesting and then this ace of wands right here this is like as long as you keep this weird fantasy going, there's not going to be any um, new opportunities in the way of passion and creativity. And um, you might lose your way in life. You might, you know, be on on um, a path. And then because of this middle card, this, um, what is it? Seven of Cups reversed the road just took like 20 forks and you're like what the hell right and it can be overwhelming you know um ace of you know the wands are like a torch you know a torch card in my opinion they can light the way to where you want to go and it's reversed so i feel like you know your journey doesn't have any potential to go anywhere um new or anywhere exciting it's just kind of like the mundane get up go to work eat blah 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 you know and if you keep that mindset that's all you're gonna go and then you're not gonna have any new opportunities right here okay let's pull some more okay the hermit more swords okay Ten of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so I definitely feel like this month we're going to possibly, um, if you're usually kind of like a party person or, you know, likes to go out um, to the crowd, in the crowd, you know, and maybe go shopping or a concert or, you know, some something like that. I definitely think you're going to be feeling the opposite of that if you are usually like that um, this month. Um, I feel like you are going to 
be staying home and watching TV or maybe reading, but I feel like you're definitely in some kind of self-discovery journey here, um, which is, you know, all these swords, like, it's really interesting. Um, you're, see, if you look at the hermit right here, um, that lamp or whatever it is, um, I can't remember the name of it, lantern is um enlightenment right so he's um kind of stopping in his tracks in the world and he's like look something's got to give right i need to stop i need to take some time for myself and i need to um find spirituality okay or find more spirituality or whatever and even find out really who he is because that's his essence in that lantern that's his soul that's enlightenment right so I think that might be the goal this month. Um, with this 10 of uh, swords reversed, again, another sword, but it's 10, uh, 10 of swords reversed. So this is means that this hard time of struggle, of anxiety, of just getting beat down, right? It's a cycle. Everything in a life is a cycle and you're definitely moving away from that. Um, you know, because if you look, you know, the swords are, well, in this deck, there's not really stabbing him in the back, but you can see that they're falling away from his back. So, yes, this happened, the situation, like this um, anxiety, this betrayal, this situation happened, but you still have more swords that you can use in your arsenal, okay? And swords isn't just about weapons. Swords is mind, ideas, and learning, and lessons, okay? So you have more swords in your arsenal than you had before to work with. So it, it happened for a reason. It was, it was to help you, okay? Whatever the situation is. Um, even the Ten of Pentacles reversed right here. I usually feel like this is like losing um, money or losing a family or something like that. But to me, I feel like you weren't ready to really try to take that step into being the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is literally everything that you would want in life um family security um housing all the all that stuff so i feel like before you weren't really ready to even go for something like that you know you're like that's really unattainable for me in my life it's just not for me but I feel like that's changing your mind. I think this whole situation, even the hermit right here looking into yourself is changing the way you think and your priorities right now. I feel like you're starting to get a little older. You're starting to want things that you didn't want when you were younger. And you know, you're starting to realize that. More information, please. Oh, that one flew out, didn't it? Oh, there's two of them, okay. What is that? Page of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Yeah, I think the thing that is really dragging you down is the past. It's trauma. It's definitely trauma with the Six of Cups reversed. Excuse me. Two of Cups reversed. Yeah. I think because of the past... Some kind of past, some kind of trauma. Usually this deals with childhood trauma. It doesn't always have to be childhood trauma. Um, but this is like um, things from the past keep coming, keep getting brought up over and over and over because you're not dealing with it. Something, and I keep getting that. I got that earlier with the TikTok reading. You're not dealing with what happened. Whatever that pertains in your life, okay? Um... And it's about two people who loved each other. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of love, okay? And it doesn't have to be two people. Well, I do kind of believe it is two people just because we could have got the three. But if it's a couple, it can be more than two. Let's put it that way. If you're polyamorous, then, you know, that can mean you. Um, the two of cups is like losing a partnership. This could be work, family, love, you know, anything like that. So... I definitely think it's affecting your love life and your ability to love other people because you're having trouble trusting them. You know? I mean, who could blame you? But it's it's hindering your growth, okay? 
and page of pinnacles is like a slow coming of money like it's very very slow like money is coming but it's super super slow more information please and then we'll be done the fool okay more swords um nine of swords i think we pulled about all the fucking swords in the deck <laughs> the chariot okay so there might be some things this month coming up that feels like it's stopped or it's just dragging completely slowly the chariot reverse is like about a halt in something in your life or something just dragging its ass, right? Being very, very slow. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It didn't give me what that was. Um, but I definitely think you should take some chances this month. Um, take some risks. But, again, I keep getting swords. So you need all the information. Make sure you have all the information in order to take these risks, okay? Don't be the fool here. Now the fool, if this was reversed, I'd say don't do it. Don't take any risks this month. Play it safe, you know. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Keep, keep on, on, the on the DL, keep on the down low. Like, don't do shit. But it's upright, so this is saying, yes, it's okay to take risks. It's okay to be this fool sometimes that's like just dancing with this little dog with the little rainbow and you know, it's just, oh, there's a cliff. Oh, guess what? He's flying over the cliff. Like, you know, it's worth the risk, whatever it is, because you might fall, you might fly. If you have all the information, you're gonna fly, okay? Um, Nine of Swords reverse right here. This is about you've been having a lot of trouble sleeping, a lot of fucking anxiety, um, possibly nightmares, possibly not getting enough sleep, possibly insomnia. Um, but you're getting away from that. The swords are falling off of you, okay? They're falling away, falling away from me, okay? <laughs> Corn song, anyway. But that's a good sign. I think um, this month, towards the end of the month, I definitely think that you're gonna learn a lot of lessons you're gonna implement the lessons and your anxiety is going to start to diminish a little bit at a time more and more and more okay um but stuff and this might even be impatience for you know your life to get better and you're just like it's going too slow and i get it it probably is going too slow but that's life man <laughs> i mean i don't know what else to tell you that's life Okay, that was the reading for November. Now, I want to do the questions part, okay? So, I am going to shuffle. Go ahead and think of two questions. Two yes or no questions. Um, and we'll see what comes up, okay? Alright. Spirit, would you please answer these yes or no questions um, for my viewers. One more. Yes or no questions, please answer these accurately in response to what we are supposed to know. Don't show anything that we're not supposed to know, which they went anyway. Okay, first question. First question. I'm going to shuffle one more time. I'm being called to shuffle one more time. Okay, I do what I'm told, you know, or I do what... I feel I have to do. That's how readings go. Okay, please put them in order. So the first question and then the second question. I need them in order, please. Okay. Okay, they're in order. Okay. So, for the first question, 
we gotta know that is a page of pentacles um so if your question was about money no um i just get a no <laughs> by this card with this card so okay now for question number two yes I definitely think number two is yes because the two of Pentacles is about setting out on your journey right I mean, you know you make a plan um, you know the world is your oyster okay so number the first question was a no and then the second question was a yes okay I hoped y'all enjoyed that that was fun um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great November. Um, I will see you guys for the next week coming up. Um, the, what is it? The 7th through the 7th, something. <laughs> I can't remember right now. But um, I will see you then. Thank you for watching. If you like a private reading with me, links and all the info is in the description as well as my bio. If you like to tip me, that is so sweet of you. I adore you. If not, you don't have to. It's fine. Um, but that information is also down below, okay? Um, I feel like there's something else I should say. I guess not. I guess that's it. All right, pleasant screams, bugs and kisses, and stay magical, my friends.